All right, so we are gonna start off by prepping our nails right here. I'm just putting on this cuticle remover to each one of my fingers and I'm gonna rub that in and then just push my cuticles down with this cuticle remover you see on the screen. After that, I am going to clip off my cuticles and I'm also going to be cutting my nails with this tool. I really like this one instead of nail clippers. I just feel like I have more control over my nails. And then right now I'm just going in with alcohol to clean them and then moving right in with the drill. actually putting on the fake nail right here I'm just sizing each nail you want to make sure it fits very well like you see on the screen right now you see there's nothing overlapping going in with the drill this part is called etching you want to make sure you etch each one of your nails the more etched they are the more the better they will stick to your real nail I like to go in with two different tools now so you see here I have, I have more of a rough one versus the first one I was using now moving on with our glue you want to apply a very thin coat to each one of your of your fingernails and then you want to cure that for a few seconds and right here i'm just getting my gooseneck lamp ready and this technique is probably the most important part of everything you want to make sure you apply a very thin coat to your nail and at the very bottom just add a little part like that and make sure you put it on at an angle and then right where you put it on put it under the gooseneck lamp you don't have to have a gooseneck lamp but i really like to have one just because it gives me better control and back when i didn't have one i noticed that i had a lot of spillage and my nails wouldn't last as long so for the next few minutes i'm going to be showing you each one of my nails because like i said this is one of the most important parts Going back in with our drill, we're just going to drill our nail all over just to file it all throughout. And then right here you see me switching the actual attachment and I use this attachment because it doesn't hurt my finger and I use this one to mostly focus around the cuticle to make my fake nail blend into my real nail since I don't like to go all the way down with the fake nail. And now I'm going in with the dehydrator. Now it is time to go in with the color, but before that, I am going to show you a 
quick swatch of each one of these colors these are by beetles i've been using them for a really long time and i really love their products Going in with a base coat, you want to apply a base coat to each one of your nails and you just cure that afterwards. Then we're going in with our actual color. I ended up going with a deep burgundy red as you see on the screen. I'm going to put two coats of this and then I'm going to cure that under the lamp. That is all for this video. These are probably my favorite nails I've ever done and I also went out of my comfort zone to try out a new red rather than nude but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.